When we decided to do the haunted house, it wasn't about we wanted to do an event to scare people. We wanted to pick one kind of event where we could network everything we teach into one event. And each year we add more content or more complexity. So inside the attraction, we have hidden 16 sensors. So the audience members walk in the front door, there's actually a sensor there. When the door shuts, it triggers that sensor off and then they have an experience going down the stairwell of lighting and sound. And effects. When they get down to the bottom of the stairs, the first place they visit is O'Scully's Wharf. They set off a sensor. And so all the way through the attraction, audience members are slowly setting off these sensors and having a lighting sound or video experience. Haunted Hotel gives us an opportunity to experiment with a lot of the different technologies as time goes by. A lot of the students come to find that when they do go out work in the field, nothing is shocking to us because we're doing it here. When you get into the technology that's behind the haunted hotel, and then when you go out into the field, it's the same technology. The technology used in the Gravesend Inn Haunted Hotel is similar to the technology used in theme parks such as Disneyland, Universal Studios Hollywood, and others. It's great for our students because now they know the current versions of software and equipment and they're able to take that experience right into the work environment. One of the many functions of the Haunted Hotel is that it's a recruitment opportunity for us to invite local high schools and junior highs so they can learn about careers in the entertainment industry. Sometimes we'll actually shut down the attraction while it's running when the schools request and they can meet current college students and talk to them about what it's like to go to school, what it was like to work on the attraction, how they can obtain that goal as well. And have to hide next to me here for eternity. <laughs>